So let's look at the following example that deals with convex mirrors and the mirror equation. Suppose the radius of curvature of a certain convex mirror is 20 meters. If the object is found to be 12 meters away, find the A image distance and B magnification. So let's begin by describing our situation in the following diagram. So here we have our convex mirror and the object is found to the left of our convex mirror a distance of 12 meters away. So this distance from the center of the convex mirror to our object is 12 meters. Now the radius of curvature, the distance from the center of our convex mirror to point C is given by 20 meters. So we want to essentially determine the distance from the center of our convex mirror to where our image is created and we also want to determine the lateral magnification of our image. So let's begin by using the radius of curvature to calculate to determine what the focal length is. So the focal length is related to the radius of curvature via the following equation. The focal length f is equal to r divided by 2. The reason we're determining the focal length is because we're going to need to use this in part a to calculate what the image distance is. So focal length f is equal to r divided by 2 which is equal to 20 meters divided by 2 so our focal length is 10 meters. So let's move on to part a. So we want to essentially apply the mirror equation to find the image distance di. Remember the same exact mirror equation that we can use for concave mirrors we can also use for convex mirrors. So 1 divided by the focal length f is equal to 1 divided by the image distance di plus 1 divided by the object distance do. So let's take this equation, let's rearrange it and solve for our di. So we bring the knowns to the right side and the unknown to the left side. So this is equal to 1 divided by di, the image distance, what we're looking for, our unknown, and this is equal to 1 divided by the focal length f minus 1 divided by the object distance do. So we know that the focal length of a convex mirror is always negative because it's always found on the right side of our convex mirror behind our convex mirror. So that means f is equal to negative 10 meters. So we have 1 divided by negative 10 meters minus 1 divided by 12 meters. So our DO is positive because it's found to the left of our mir mirror. The object is found to the left of our mirror. So negative 1 divided by 10 minus 1 divided by 12 gives us approximately negative 0.183. Three. So 1 divided by di is equal to this quantity. So now let's solve for di and we get that di is equal to 1 divided by negative 0.183 and so our image distance is approximately equal to negative 5.5 meters. So the negative simply means our image is found to the right of our convex mirror. So this is our image and it's approximately 5.5 meters away from the center of our convex mirror to the right. Now let's move on to part B. Now we want to use the lateral magnification equation for concave mirrors to solve for our M. So the lateral magnification for concave mirrors also works for convex mirrors. So our M, the magnification, is equal to negative our image distance divided by the object distance. So the image distance was found to be negative 5.5 meters. So negative and negative makes a positive. So 5.5 meters divided by 12 meters, the meters cancel and our magnification is about positive 0.183. 
0.46. So the fact that it's smaller than 1 means that the image height will be smaller than the object height. So once again, we're dealing with a virtual image because the image is found behind our convex mirror. Now the virtual image is right side up and it's smaller than the height is smaller than the actual object.